Hi everyone, this is Brooke Miller, founder of Soapbox Therapy. And this week on Thursdays with Brooke, the topic of the week is success. And um, I do not take this topic very lightly. I think a lot of people talk about their concept of success, what success means to them. I happen to have a really specific definition that I follow. So hope you have your pen and paper. Um, my definition of success is when you get to a place in your existence, that you are able to not only hear your inner voice, but listen to it. And um, that's something that I think about a lot. Um, I've worked really, really hard on my relationship with my inner voice. Um, my inner voice has sort of become my mentor. And I think a lot of people think that that, that phrase inner voice can get a little bit, a little bit mushy, a little bit um, maybe spiritual or something that just doesn't work for them. But to me, um, that voice inside you is is your intuition, is your gut. And it's become my mentor, actually, um, when I can get quiet enough to listen to that. So that, to me, is the definition of success. And there's so many, so many ways that that comes out in the world. Um, there are personal and both personal and professional successes. So for example, if you have gotten to that place in your existence where you're able to have that that relationship with your inner voice, with your intuition, um, and you're someone who's a workaholic. So a successful moment would be when you know that it's time to take care of yourself. You know that maybe you need to stay in bed that day. Um, and the opposite side of the same coin, if you've gotten to that place in your existence where you're living successfully and you're having a hard day and maybe you don't want to be with people, um, but you know in your deeper gut, in your deeper gut self that that being with people, that getting out of bed um, will help you, even though it's a challenge. So that's a really successful moment. Um, when we're talking about business, a lot of people talk about financial success. And so that's what I want to mainly focus on today. Um, to me, there's two parts of financial success. There's the success piece, which we already talked about, and then there's the financial piece. And financial gain is very different than success. Um, than financial success. They're two very different things. You can have financial gain without having financial success. So financial gain is making money. Um, I know a lot of wealthy, wealthy people who are not successful, who are not, they didn't make that money by doing what they love. They didn't make that money by, by following their gut, by following their intuition. Things happen for them, went really well, they're making lots of money, it's great, it doesn't mean it's a bad thing, but um, I've talked as, as a therapist and as a relationship coach, I've talked to a lot of people who have a lot of money but don't feel successful. So when you combine financial gain with success, that to me is what financial success is. That to me is when you're making a lot of money the kind of money that you are proud of that you want to make, everyone has a different number for that. That's a totally different conversation and topic. Um, but when you're making the kind of money that you want to make and you've done it through the ability to get quiet enough to not only hear your inner voice and hear your gut intuition, but listen to it and follow it. And my keys to success is, are, there are a few things. One, um, I'm good at what I do and I, I work my butt off doing it. Um, so there's that. And there's, of course, the piece that we talked about earlier that I've, I've worked really, really hard on my relationship with my intuition and my relationship with my gut. Um, and the, the last thing that I think is one of my secrets of success is that I don't gawk at any goal, no matter how big it is. Um, if someone says, I want to save the world, I say, great, that's a good goal. Um, so I don't gawk at any goals. I, like I talked about last week with big blue sky goals, I think, I actually think they're pretty realistic if, um, if that's what your intuition is telling you that you're here to do. So, um, with that, I'm going to leave you guys with just a few lines from one of my favorite, favorite quotes. It was, uh, Marion Williamson said this, and, um, it's one of my favorite things. I love it. So it says, who are you to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? Your playing small does not serve the world. So with that little piece of her quote, um, I wish you guys a wonderful, wonderful week filled with success. 
And remember to subscribe to She's the CEO and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. You can follow me as well, Soapbox Therapy. Um, and don't forget that I'm an advice columnist, so you can email me anytime and then <clears throat> check my blog to see if your question is responded to at brooke at soapboxtherapy.com. So have a great week, you guys, and I will see you next Thursday on Thanksgiving where um, I'll talk to you then. Have a great week. Bye.